Dude, what is he doing? Guys, we rock, but yup, of course you lie. Sit there and organize. Try to be more than just hoes. Um, thinking you sorta of tight. Cause someone wrote you lines. Thinking you whores have got flow. <laughs> no, you can record the lines. Give me Yo, what's going on, y'all? Lockout men in the truck. That is right. I am back in the truck. And I got this load that picked it up from Ohio. And I'm taking it up to Maine. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all, y'all heard me. Y'all, y'all heard right. I said Maine. Let let me say it again. Maine, not Maine. Maine, up in the far corner of the Northeast, somewhere that I do not want to be. <laughs> well. Look, let me tell you something. My my boss, my fleet manager, my main, he called me up and he was like, look, I got this load that's, that really need to get somewhere. I know you don't like it, but I, I really need your help. And I looked at it. He sent it to me. I looked at it. I was like, yo, you need me to do it? I got you, man. I got you. So now I am on my way up to Maine. I'm shut down for tonight at this Flying J right here in uh, PA, which I think I got like the last spot possible, but I don't know. But um, but yeah, I am here and uh, I am set. So let me tell you guys uh, what happened today. Um, I got the light, as you guys can see. You know, I'm a little bit brighter <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i went to best buy and i i i picked up this light right here it was inexpensive about 20 30 bucks but i went in there and i had my gopro strapped to my arm so nobody actually nobody knows that if i'm recording unless they actually ask me and i will say yay or nay to the fact but i i went into this best buy I went back there in the back, I looked around and I came across this light and I was talking to one of the sales rep, I guess, you know, I was asking him if he had any more lights like this. So as we was talking, another dude came from off the, off the way and he comes up to me and say, you're not recording, are you my man? Are you recording? I'm like, yeah, I am. I might be, I mean, you know. Yeah, I am. Why? Can you please stop? We don't allow for recording in our stores. Why is that? Well, there's no recording in Best Buy. We do not allow recording in our, our premises. And I'm going like, okay, so where's that at that says that? You know what I'm saying? Where does it say that there's no recording allowed in Best Buy. But it don't say nowhere that it, that it don't say that nowhere. You, you the only one that's saying it. Uh, well, I, I, I don't know, you know, I don't know. I just know that there's no recording in Best Buy. Well, let me ask you this. How do you know if I'm recording? That's because my AP officer said that you're recording in our building. How, how will he know that? You said you had a, a, just because you see right just because you see it doesn't mean that it's you you can't tell that i'm recording you you speculating because i have my gopro camera on my arm well the 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 pa uh just letting me know that you had a camera okay so just because i got a camera does not necessarily mean that i'm recording how would he know that i'm recording now I'm being honest with you. I'm like, yeah, I'm telling you I'm recording because it's it's always recording. You know what I'm saying? But what if what if uh what if I wasn't recording? Then you would have came over here and and did all that for nothing. So on my way out, I I did pick up the light by the way as you guys can see. It is super bright. Um on my way out, I talked to the gentleman at the door. And I'm like, so you was the one that called back there in the back and let him know that I had a camera? You an AP? Yeah. You you the one that called him in the back about my GoPro? I did. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, because you know there's no recording inside of inside of Best Buy. So show me where it says when I come through the door at I mean come through the door at Best Buy. So show me where it says that there's no recording allowed. My dude, where where do it say? What's where where do it say that we're not allowed to record? Where, where where do it say though? Is it some? No 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 no. Where does it say when I come into the building that says that we're not allowed to record? No you no. Where does it say? Not pull it up on no computer or anything like that. Where does it say when I come through those doors? Exactly. My point. My point exactly. Well, I I, I could pull it up. I was like, no 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 no. This is after the fact. You see what I'm saying? This is after the fact. Show me when I came through the door, because maybe I might have missed it. I might have missed it. And if I did, cool. But if I didn't, let me know where is it at. Where does it say anywhere in that little vestibule right there when you come through the door that there's no cameras allowed in Best Buy? Uh, well, there, there isn't. A, okay, my point is proven. My point is proven. All right. Now, you can go and pull up and open up a book or whatever and whatever, whatever. I, I want to see for myself when I come into the store that if something's not allowed in the store, it should be posted somewhere when you come through those doors and you letting the customer know what what it is and what it's not you know what i'm saying so he was like you know he was trying to explain all that stuff to me and i was like look if i don't see it if i don't see it if it's not posted anywhere and i'm coming in here spending my money you know what i'm saying you know i'm spending my money and everything then do back off so where does it say um, we're not we're not to record and besides how would you know that I'm recording only thing the only thing you see is my camera which I keep on me at all times so how do you know that I'm recording you what you should have did what you should have did was have a will have something posted at the door that says that we don't allow recording in our in our stores. You know what I'm saying? Because if I hadn't have said nothing, you wouldn't even know, even though it was still on anyway. So the other dude was like, well, you, you're you gonna need to turn it off. I'm like, I'm not turning off nothing, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not turning off nothing. So that's that's what happened at Best Buy, man. So, guys, let me know if let me know if I was wrong. If I was wrong, let me know. I mean, like I said, if if it was posted, then yeah, I wouldn't have came in there with with the camera rolling. Let me know if I'm wrong. You know. So, yo, we got some truck, we got some uh, truck topics, man. You know, I came across a couple couple of uh, couple of things inside of Facebook and a couple of things on the on the web man guys check out this uh check out this video right here now look I want to just tell you guys the dangers out here it looks wet but I'm not sure if it's wet or not it do look it do look semi wet but you guys please stay safe out here 90% of truck crashes are caused by four-wheelers. I'm I'm sorry four-wheelers is it's a fact, okay? 90% of truck crashes happen because of you guys, all right? Now, this is tragic right here this video I'm about to say, I mean I'm about to show, but just know that this car that came around the corner and cut this truck off was in the wrong. Look at that. Wow. 
Let's let's see that again. Let's let's see it again, man. See right there, right there, the 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 four wheeler right there came out of the lane and then just this smooth came into this truck right here and literally pushed the truck over the beam. Look at that. And then bam. Unfortunately, uh the driver yeah, the driver didn't make it. Um so my condolences goes out to that driver. Another another driver lost um because of careless driving from somebody else. So just guys, just just uh, I'm a loss for words, man. Just stay safe, all right? There was a comment, right? Um, there was a comment in the Facebook post that I have read. And somebody wanted to know what was the pros and cons of dashboard cameras inside of the trucks. Now, I came across this article in Drive My Way. And basically what, what, what was said is... It's kind of echoed throughout the whole trucking community. The dash, the in, the in cab dash camera by the company, you know what I'm saying? It's a good and a bad thing. Now, if it's if it's outward facing, cool. That's not a problem. You know, for it it'll help us out if we get into any incident. We got that camera to protect us. But here's where the controversy comes into play the inward facing camera that's the big controversy now you know drivers we're we're over the road so this is not only our uh place of business but this is our sanctuary back here back here is where is is where we live so some drivers take that as as how can I say an invasion of privacy, right? So basically on this article it says dashboard cameras are becoming an important and controversial involving issue in the trucking community. Drivers, carriers, regulators and industry experts all have an opinion on them. Some say that the dashboard cameras are an important tool to provide protection and liability. Others insist that dashboard cameras are an invasion of privacy and show a lack of respect of their judgment. I agree. I Actually, I agree on all these parts right here. It is an invasion of privacy and it is micromanaging. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, so I'm driving down the street. Now, now they say that the cameras only come on in an event. Hard braking, uh, jerk stopping, speeding, whatever the case. That's when they come on, right? So that's when they're supposed to come on. But I know, <laughs> I know for a fact that companies do have access to these cameras whenever they can let me tell you a story all right so i'm driving for the previous company i used to work for so i'm driving i'm driving driving uh, i wake up the next morning and i get a message on the qualcomm now i was on a i was on the phone with my friend with one of my trucking friends and i told her the message that i was reading it says um it says, hey, lockout, um, you want you might want to uh, move the camera because it's being instructed. Instructed? Instructed for what? You know, that's why I'm over here like, instructed? What, what, what that could possibly mean? So I finished reading and it says it was, it was being blinded by something. I don't know. Now I'm driving last night. This is from la this is from the previous night. Now I'm now I did not I, I did not hard break. 
I wasn't speeding and I didn't do anything to set the camera off. The camera was in green status. When it's in red status, that's when it's recording, but it was in green status all that time. And I get a message that actually said that uh, that they actually, you know, looked through the camera and seen, you know, what was going on. And I'm going like, okay, well, this camera is supposed to be an event trigger. It, there wasn't no event trigger. So these cameras or these companies do have access to these cameras. These cameras is constantly recording. Don't let it fool you all right it is constantly recording is only time when it only time when it breaks it breaks the session off that's how it catch the event that's how it's able to catch six seconds back and what eight seconds ahead because it's constantly it's constantly recording when you get into an event they'll tell you when you get into an event that's when it start recording okay well if I get into an event, then it's supposed to start recording from that point, right? But it's it's grabbing information from the back. And the only way they can grab information from the back if it was already recording. That's how that's how cameras work. That's how my that's how my garden uh garden garden that's how my garmin dash camera work when i hit that button it re it 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 plays back it it gets the information back and then it gets the information forward so that you would get six se or eight six seconds back to see what what was it before the incident and then whatever for that the camera is recording the rest of the incident so don't believe the hype when it comes to these cameras man it is recording at all times i don't care what nobody says it's recording at all times so if it's if it's inward facing and outward facing it's still recording at all times now i do agree that inward facing cameras yeah maybe it is an invasion of privacy suppose you and your wife is back here you and your girlfriend back here or you and your mate or you know you probably might be back here beating yourself off and then all of a sudden you'll get that phone call like hey uh you know we seen you butt naked or we seen you this or we seen you that there was actually a lawsuit with one of the mega carriers because some of the, somebody was actually watching the cameras of the truckers that was that wasn't even driving so you can't tell me that they don't have access or this is actually triggered in the event or is not recording per se. So the pros, the pros on, on these cameras, right? Liability and protection, all right? Whether or not people realize it, the truth is that passenger, I just said it because we just saw that video a second ago, passenger vehicles are responsible for the majority of the truck crashes in two independent studies by University of Michigan uh, and the National Highway Traffic Administration. It's a fact. It's a fact that these four-wheelers, like I said before in the, in the previous topic, they, they are the causes of truck accidents out here. So a lot of insurance companies and a lot of these mega carriers are going the way of the cameras so to protect themselves and hopefully protect the driver. The cons, of course, privacy and micromanagement. <laughs> micromanagement, privacy. As a truck driver, like I said, we, this is our sanctuary back here. No ma this, this may not be our truck, okay? We don't own the truck, but we're assigned the truck. So it is ours while we in this truck. So privacy is a big thing and micromanagement is another. It says right here that 
It's important to remember that truck drivers use their cabs at home as home away from homes. It's not just their office, but their dining room, living room, and bedroom. How will, other, how will others feel if Big Brothers was snooping in their personal space? Truck drivers are understandably concerned that the video footage is available to carriers and others unknown entities out there without having any say in the matter. Another reason to be against dashboard cameras is micromanagement of a driver's decisions. Let's say you have a truck driver who's been a great driver for over 10 years and has a deep experience with making the best driving decisions. Dashboard cameras allow carriers to scrutinize and judge every decision a driver makes without, without understanding its nuisance and consequences. I mean, look, uh, the one driver, the one post said that they seriously, you know, having concerns about going to U.S. Express because of the because of the camera. So, but it just if you get into a company that does have a driver cam uh, that does have a driver camera in their truck and they're treating you well, then just don't think about it once you post up at night cover it up cover it up but while you're driving make sure it's uncovered because they will they will call you and be like yo you need to uncover your your uh camera good talk good talk so you guys seen the intro right where this driver right here was having a hard time with his truck trying to get over a barrier what he's thinking <laughs> Somebody tell me, what is he thinking? He literally tore up the bottom of that truck trying to get over that barrier. Where he get his license from? Guys, in the comments below, man, let me let me know what you guys think of this situation right here. There's a huge post, that's what he's stuck on. The floor broke. The floor's gone. The floor is broken, man. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. You're, you're not going to load that trailer. Oh yeah. All them cross members are gone. That trailer is gonna buckle. Oh yeah. If he's got it loaded. I mean, you see produce falling out. This is what lettuce or cauliflower. So again, guys, like I said before, <laughs> whew, I don't understand where he got his uh, CDL license from. Some might say he got it out of a Cracker Jack box <laughs> after seeing that video right there, man. Look, you guys got to understand situations. Y'all got to know your surroundings. You got to know what's <laughs> what's going on, man. You can't just drive over any and everything. You got to get out and look. You know, he should have, I don't even know how the hell he managed to get like that in the first place. But, whew, you, can, you might as well say that he's on the verge of looking for another driving job. Hopefully another career because truck driving is not it for this guy. All right, <laughs> let's move on. So this one post was asking, was talking about what is preventable and what is non-preventable accidents. Me, I think that those are just big, uh, 
carrier words, industry words. What is preventable accident? Well, it says right here, a preventable accident, I gotta find it. Uh, okay, so it says right here, in the trucking industry, a preventable accidents are crashes in which a truck driver or a motor carrier failed to act in a reasonably expected manner to prevent it. So that's a preventable. It's, a preventable accident is something that you could have prevent from happening. You know, like if you ran into a if you ran into a pole, if you ran over over somebody's lawn, or you crashed into a fire hydrant. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. The lawn part, no. The the running in the back, no. The fire hydrant, yes. <laughs> Yes, I, I I did that. I, I did not see the fire hydrant uh, where I was at this, uh, where I was at the shipper. Was it the shipper? Yeah, I was at the shipper and the fire hydrant was like, like covered in a whole bunch of weeds and stuff like that. So that was a preventable accident that was on me. So that's a preventable accident a non-preventable accident is the it's the opposite of a preventable accident non-preventable is is anything that anything that is not your fault like if a car crash into you if a car basically if a car crashes into you or or you get into a situation that that is not your fault then that's a non-preventable accident so just make sure that you know the difference between preventable and non-preventable when you get into a situation. So make sure that whatever situation you get in, you know, you have a dash camera because I got one. Make sure you have a dash camera to prove your point and make sure that it's a non-preventable. Now, if you get into too many preventable accidents, that will that will kind of hinder you a little bit in getting to the next uh, trucking job that you may or may not uh, get. Uh, you definitely want to be on the non-preventable side of things. I think I got one more topic. One more topic. Let's see. I think you got one more topic. Oh, hey, check out this video right here. Check out this video. <laughs> what <are> you... <laughs> oh, that's so cute. I, I gotta see that again. Let's let's see that again, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny <laughs> oh man that was so funny all right so check out this right here uh, all right so this young man wants to know some driver training advice, all right? He wants to know, what should a greenhorn fresh out of CDL school getting into a truck to train? What to bring and what not to bring? Yo, you guys, let me know in the comments below what to bring and what not to bring. Look, when I came on board, I, I, I only brought the essentials, all right? I brought my laptop my 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 gear bag which was my laptop my tablet my phone uh and a couple of uh and a couple of other things as far as clothes go packed light all right a uh, couple of couple of pairs of jeans some change of underwear uh, a couple of pairs of shirts some socks your toiletries and um and that's about it. That's about it. Because see, when you get into this trainer's truck, you're not going to be in the bottom bunk. And all the space that's going to be that's going to be allotted, it's not going to be allotted to you. 
the the trainer is going to take up all that space. He's going to have a cabinet space and all that. What you're going to end up doing is taking the top bunk and your stuff that you came that you came with is going to be on that top bunk with you. Just know that it's it's not much it's it's not much to to bring out here. You know what I'm saying? Now when you get your own truck, then yeah, you can outfit it the way you want it, but when you when you on your trainer's truck that's it just just the essentials i dare to say just the bare essentials all right look like i said uh a hat you know depending on depending on the season you know winter boots winter coat winter hat uh and in the summertime you don't even have to worry about all that other stuff just the bare essentials that's all you need you don't need nothing else all right all right all right yo i think i i, I think i want to see that dog video one more time oh well i want to see that dog video one more time <laughs> oh man oh i can't get enough of that <laughs> uh all right guys all right so check it out this next video that I'm about to show right quick is another lightweight tragic video that's that's involving another uh that's involving another truck driver but this time it does you know the truck driver is all right. So basically all the all the all the driver was doing Ooh. Yeah, see? So all the driver was doing was just sitting there minding his business, you know, pulled over because of the uh, high speed chase that was going on. But this happened. God damn. So what do you guys think about that? Huh? What do you guys think about that right there? You you guys think he's you, you guys think he's all right? And and the poor truck driver was just sitting there minding his own business and he looks he just happened to look over the just happened to look and bam, right then and there. So sad. Mm. All right, guys, so that's it. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. This is Lockout Man on the 30. Yes, sir. If you guys like videos like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this, man. Yo, I appreciate all you guys watching. Stand to the end. And, yo, I appreciate you guys hooking me up with some coffee because I am so thirsty over here. But anyway, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. And I will get back at you guys with another video. You guys have a good night. Peace.